Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and I make fashion and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be probably one of my f most favorite videos I've done so far and it's my first official fall try on haul. I did do my Nordstrom anniversary haul and I'll leave that link down below and also put a card up here so you guys can check that out if you want to but that is that was a, my first I guess unofficial fall video because the sale is a pre-sale of all the fall items they have for the season but I curated this video as a official fall try on haul and it will be with H&M I bought all these things and I'm so excited to share with you guys all the cute fall outfits that I did find at H&M I am also going to do a video it's going to be kind of a official like fall trend try on haul this haul is going to be more geared towards just fall items uh, no trend in mind I mean these are going to be trendy pieces however I am going to be doing a fall trend video so subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see that and hit the little notification bell so you guys will know when I upload it but before I get started subscribe like I mentioned before I would really appreciate it Appreciate you guys joining me here on my YouTube channel. Like this video if you are excited for fall and leave me a comment down below letting me know what retailer you would want to see another fall haul from. I have a whole bunch on my list but I would love you guys' input. But anyways, let's just jump right into it because I'm so excited and we can start with this sweater. I was trying to figure out what to call it because it, it is a between it is in between a sweater and a polo shirt but it is so soft and it's so cute I saw this in the store and I was kind of contemplating to get it or not but I'm so happy I did I really like it it's so cute um, I love the little button detailing here you'll see in the try on haul how cute and flattering it is Everything I did buy today was all in a size small. I'll leave all of the pricing up on the screen and then I'll leave all of the sizing down below so you guys can reference. And I will also have my size reference down below in the description bar below so you guys can kind of figure out what size would be best for you. So anyway, so this sweater is so soft. I think it did come in several other colors. It's so... I think this would be perfect like for a work environment. Uh, you can even dress this down with some jeans. I have it paired with like really pretty brown gaucho like look kind of pants. And I think this look is perfect for the workplace. So I like it and I'm pretty sure you guys will like it too because it's so soft. I like how oversized it is. It is really flattering and yeah, I would recommend this. I think this is a nice pre-fall like a transition top since it is shorter sleeves when the days are starting to get a little bit more chillier I think this would be really nice you can layer a nice jacket with it too it is very lightweight and thin so I think it would be perfect for just layering putting a jacket over on top so the next thing is this really really pretty plaid dress oh my god I love it this is something that I really want to keep it's so inexpensive like I said the pricing will be up on the top but it's so nice it's lightweight this again will be a nice transition piece from summer into fall the fabric material is like a summer material but the print and the color is totally on trend with fall with that whole menswear and fall pattern situation I think this is so so cute it is so nice it is really flattering and I, again I think this will be perfect for the workplace it is very forgiving in your stomach areas I think if you just throw on a pair of Spanx you would be okay with this dress the next top I got was this really pretty leopard print top. It is so nice and it's lightweight. Again, this would be a nice transition piece. You can roll up the sleeves to wear it when it's warmer outside, throw it layer on a jacket when it does get cooler. Again, this would be a really nice workwear piece. You can even dress this down with a pair of jeans and just knot it at the waist. I think this would, shirts like these, are, I feel like it's a staple in your wardrobe because you can wear it throughout the week for work and, and you can also dress it down for weekends and I think the leopard pattern is so cute so much fun and leopard has been on trend for I don't know how many seasons now it's been on trend for a while so this will be something that I feel like you can carry in into next season into the spring or even to the next year as well so the next thing I got was this really really cozy soft oversized sweater I love how oversized it is I love the color so neutral and perfect I feel like this will look really nice with transitioning into the fall 
with a really nice light wash denim. You can even throw this on a dress or a skirt and I feel like the whole look of that will be really cute with some booties. Again, it's really soft. I think the pricing on this was really inexpensive as well and it believe it did come in several colors. My H&M had this color and I think one other color, I believe. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I love how the front is the shorter than the back, so the back is longer. If you can, if you want, you can wear this with leggings. I think that would be super cute as well. I would pair this with a leather, a pair of leather leggings and just like, you know, kind of fold up the sleeves a little bit, bunch it up to make it look really cute and trendy. So this jacket would be the perfect casual option for your shirling trend. It is so inexpensive, which I love. And I love how casual it is. You can definitely throw this on top of a nice like, cami with some mom jeans, a light wash jean with some booties. I think that would be so cute. It is warm and cozy and I know 2020 is the year of coziness. So this jacket is so perfect for that. It's just a, a perfect nice casual jacket just to throw on during the day or even to use at night. Again, it is so soft. I wish you guys could feel like how soft this jacket is. I can't wait to wear it in the fall time, even into winter. In California, it doesn't really get that cold here. So if you do live in a warmer climate, I think something like this will definitely carry you into the winter time. I was looking for a cardigan like this and I'm so happy I found it. First of all, it's cropped. So I was looking for, I have a lot of like those grandfather cardigans, but I wanted something more cropped to wear with like a high-waisted mom jean and this is perfect for that. You'll see in the trim portion, I paired it with a high neck tank top, but even like a trail neck underneath this with some mom jeans, I think that will look so cute. You can even throw this on top and have it open like this to wear it over like a dress, a fall dress or something like that. I think that like having something like this is so versatile. Again, the color is like my favorite color to wear in the fall time. I love the neutral browns and tans, tan colors. And I think this is, this was really inexpensive as well. I bought this in a size small and it fits perfectly oversized so this sweater does really does run true to size again all the sizing will be down below but I just want to call out that this was in a size small and it fits really oversized so if you want it to be more cropped definitely size down so this top is so so cute and it's so inexpensive you guys will not believe how much this costs but it is so cute they only had a size medium in my store so I'm hoping to find it in a size small online because I'm definitely going to reorder this. It's so nice. The material is very stretchy so it's very forgiving. I feel like the waist part is supposed to be kind of fitted and then your sleeve is supposed to be very like exaggerated. That's the whole look of it but I love it. I love the whole exaggerated sleeve trend that's carrying it carrying into fall. Um, and the eyelet material is definitely scream summer. This will be a great transitional piece into summer, pre-fall, into fall. You can definitely throw a jacket on top if it does get colder, but I would definitely pair this again with a high-waisted pair of mom jeans. Um, I also have pictures of me styling this in my Instagram, so check out my Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Alicia Fashionista, same handle as my YouTube. But uh, yeah, I love this top. And I don't know if it comes in other colors, don't quote me, I think it comes in a black, I believe so, but I love, again, this color is so pretty and it's my favorite color for fall time. Again, with the super trendy tops and the inexpensive price point, H&M always does that every year. You always have some really cute trendy pieces at really affordable prices and this is one of those items. It's so, so cute. I love the square neckline, definitely on trend. The exaggerated sleeves and the color and it's in a sweater material. If you guys can find this, definitely grab this up even if it's not online try checking out your local store to see if they have it available again i love this i love the color i love the fit of it it's not really itchy i know sometimes when you buy cheaper sweaters the material can be a little bit itchy but this is it's kind of it's soft it doesn't feel that bad and i bought this in a size small i love it you'll see how it looks in the video and I, yeah, there's not much to say, but I love this. This is probably one of my favorite tops that I did buy throughout this whole haul. Again, with the crazy sleeves, I know. A lot of my pieces that I bought from H&M have these big ex exaggerated sleeves, but I just love the trend. I, I really like it. I feel like it's it makes a simple t-shirt like this look super trendy. This was in a size small, but the actual bodice part of the 
top is so soft like the jersey material on this is so soft I feel like it's it's a blend with a modal or something not sure if it comes in other colors but I like this neutral color I will pair this with a darker denim maybe a, like a black denim I think that will look so cute and then throw on like a really nice Moda jacket, but I would not want to wear a jacket with this just because the whole point of the shirt is the sleeves. So I don't want to. I wouldn't want to cover that up. So this would be a, again a nice transitional from summer to pre-fall top. So the next item is this really cute really really cute top so it is it does have that like spotted leopard print um and it is really cute it does have ruching in the back and then it does have like a string to tie to kind of pull up the top to kind of give it that kind of crop feel so you can adjust it to make it longer or more cropped as much as you want I would wear this again with some high-waisted mom jeans so this top is really inexpensive as well and again it is more on the safer side of the trend because you do have that kind of like puffy sleeves um, and then that ruching that's been on trend from summer going into fall so again this would be a really nice pre-fall top to get so the next item I got was this really pretty ruffle detail sweater ruffles is in it's one of the trends for the fall 2020 so when I saw this sweater I was like okay yeah I need to get it and it's also super super soft I love it I love how you'll see how it's cute the, the neckline looks with the ruffle on the neck and then there's like a little ruffle on the, the hem of the sleeves as well and I feel like this was really um, not that expensive too I did buy a size small so it is true to size but this would be a nice workwear option as well I would pair these with a pair of like nice brown like pants or even like a nice suede brown skirt I think it will look nice with this as well. So I picked up this really pretty floral um, baby doll dress and I love wearing these with some over the knee boots or boots that kind of hit around your calf. I think that will look so cute. Um, I picked up this one. I think this was the only color that came in. But I did see a similar version in the sales section when I went in. It just had daisies. So if you do find the dress, I think it was like a quarter of the price of what I paid for this so if you do go into the store I'll see if I can find it in on the website and link that as well if not then if you do shop in the store if and you like this dress definitely look in the sell section first before you find this one because honestly it's the same exact dress with just a different pattern flower so so I love to wear fall florals in the fall because I don't know I just think it's so cute it's versatile it's a great transition piece from summer to fall that pre-fall look I would pair this with again some like over the knee boots and a nice leather jacket and I styled that in my try-on so I'll show you how that looks my jacket is from the Nordstrom sale I know the white sold out but the black still available it will look pretty in black as well but I just thought the white would pop with it um, but yeah I love the length of it it does have like a little tie in the back here and everything I bought was super inexpensive you'll see the prices up on, up on top of the screen it's really affordable and that's what I love about H&M they do hit those affordable prices but they're super on trend like super on trend with everything that's going on for the season so again if you are looking for your fall wardrobe or to try out some fall trends go check out the H&M website because there's so much cute things on there right now the last dress I got was this really pretty floral, again, floral dress. It is, it does run a little bit big. I bought the size small, but the waistline is, I think it's supposed to be that kind of like smock dress where it's kind of loose. I did pair it with a belt in the trend haul and some over the knee boots. You'll see it in a little bit, but it does have that exaggerated sleeve and it has that ruffle detailing. It is so cute and I like the length of it. It's not too short or not too long. I am 5'6 for reference. Again, I'll leave all of my sizing information down below, but I am 5'6 so on my height it think it looks really like it runs it hits at the right place in my opinion I like how it looks so I picked up these pants and I'm so happy I did because they're so pretty so flattering and so inexpensive like you would not believe how much I paid for this it's ridiculous but it is these these khaki cargo pants and I like it I like wearing these in the fall with some a chunky oversized sweater or even if you don't have a mommy pudge you can definitely rock this with a like a black crop top I think that will look really cute with shoes, I would wear this with something strappy and like open toe. I think wearing pants like this, more of like a sexier shoe, would give you that like really trendy look. And again, I like how high-waisted it is. It's really flattering. And 
for the price, if you are looking for cargo pants, I'm going to try my best to find this on the website because I feel like this would be the perfect pair for you. I did, on my Instagram, I'll leave the picture up here, I did find another similar style to this and that one sold out. I know a lot of people like sending me DMs asking me for the link and that one totally sold out so I apologize if I cannot find this one. I'll try my best but if not, I'll link a similar one down below. So the next place I want to talk to you guys about is the one I'm wearing. You can't really see it but you'll see it in a try on haul but I like it. I think it's a perfect workwear fall pan. It's a crop gaucho and I like the color. I like the fit. It's perfect. I think I bought a size 6 in this. All my bottoms from H&M I usually size up to size 6 and this one fits perfectly it looks more expensive than what I paid for and I love finding deals like that like things that look super expensive but it's super inexpensive if you know what I'm talking about but I would definitely wear this to the office or you can even dress it down on the weekends with a really cute oversized sweater and some booties I think that will look so so cute so the last thing I got was this pair of high-waisted pants I love the paper bag waist on this and like I said said in my previous videos, paper bag waist is super, super flattering. It makes your your waist looks a little bit more slimmer than it is. And I like this. I would wear this with a chunky oversized sweater or that cardigan I showed you guys. This one right here. I think I, I paired this in my try-on haul. But I think like something like this would look super, super cute together. It goes with that whole like androgynous like oversized look that's been trending and yeah I like these these are really flattering and this was a size 6 I believe yeah I bought this in a size 6 and I love it I feel like um something like this like I, I feel like this to me it looks so like hipsterish like New York hipster um, that's where I'm from so that's why I'm referencing that but I like it and I like the fact that it is cropped it is um, cuffed on the hems but you can definitely like uncuff it if you want it to be longer if you are taller and again I am 5'6 and this fits me like perfectly lengthwise and that is all I have for you guys today thank you guys for joining me in this video I will have all the links down below. I'll link my Instagram down below. So I would love for you guys to follow me on there. And yeah, that is it. Be on the lookout for my fall videos. I am going to be releasing so much fall content because fall, again, is my favorite time of year. I already did my Nordstrom fall haul as well as a fall decor haul. And I will leave that in the end screens or in the cards or link down below or somewhere so you guys can check that out. But again, that is all for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.